Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I'm Penge and welcome back to Shelter 2, where last time we finally sorted out our alliance with the Black Roses at long long last. It did take a little while, we had to sort of wait around for a bit for them to give us a job to complete, which we then could complete to up our reputation with them, so then they would give us the final quest mission of theirs. But that all happened, we got their final mission, and to be honest it was really really easy. It was just another sort of go to this place and have a nice chat with a person sort of mission, like all their other ones were, so nice and easy, we did that, and then with the Alliance sorted, it did look like the game was going to be over. A little sort of pop-up appeared that said, hooray, you've united the factions and it's all wonderful and the wasteland is all happy, but not for long, and it was all very intriguing. And then we got a mysterious signal of some sort, and it's all very intriguing. So yes, there is now, if we go to the map, a mysterious signal coming from just here. So that tile that's sort of right behind our outpost that is still being attacked by the Black Roses, which I do think is possibly a little bit naughty of them. Maybe they should stop trying to attack us, given that we're now allied. But there we go. But yeah, the signal is coming from just there. And it's called the end, question mark. We received a strange radio call from someone desperate for help at a secret underground facility. What could be happening? Which is all very intriguing. So I mean, it is called the end with a question mark. So that might well be the final showdown or the kind of the start of the final sort of act of the story of Shelter 2, I suppose. So that's kind of our big goal today. We need to get over there and see exactly what is going on. Also, I wouldn't mind going over here and kind of defending our region as well, because, yeah, I'd like to kind of keep hold of that if we could. So I think our travelling party are making their way home. So, yeah, that's where they had the chat with the sort of final Black Roses member who'd sort of, you know, run away from them. And now they've got to come all the way back with their one tyre, just with one tyre, very sadly. But there we go. So there's going to be a little bit of a wait until they come back. So whilst that's happening, how is everybody else looking in terms of stats? So Kathleen just needs to get her fortitude up, which I think is going to happen from her lifting the big kind of heavy weight thing. And um, we've got Ronald, who's working on strength. Okay, yep, yeah, that's fine. He's hitting the big punch bag thing. Um, Barbara has maxed out on everything. And where is Sharon? Okay, I don't know where Sharon is. Oh, there she is. But yeah, she's maxed out on everything as well. And I mean, we could start upping caps, I suppose. We could go and use the kind of you know, the medical bed and try to get people's sort of uh, caps of their skills up if we wanted to. I don't think we need to. I think our people are very, very good. And as we saw with Ronald, it doesn't really work very well because of course Ronald, yeah, we gave it a go to try and up his dexterity and instead we gave him chronic pain, which isn't really a very nice thing. So I think we'll just leave everybody as they are. Everybody is very, very capable in their own way. So, um, yeah, okay, it's just kind of down to you two. So you've got a little while, Kathleen and Ronald, to try and get your skills up before the other people come back. So here we go, let's move time on, let's see how we do. And I mean, everything else is just ticking over very nicely. Water is no longer a problem. I think we've still got quite a good amount of food. It is winter, so when spring comes around, you know, if we're still playing the game, um, then, yeah, we could do with planting a few more things just to get some very basic kind of meals in. Because I think, yeah, our food is mostly, what have we got? 21 meals there and 10 meals there and 15 meals there. But the meals are, I mean, some of them are okay. We've got some lovely cottage pie going on. But yeah, a few of the meals are, hang on, if we go and look in there, uh, I mean, yeah, we've got some basic stuff like you know, some tomato soup. It's not the most exciting thing. So yeah, we've got a few meals that are a little bit less than appetizing and sort of, you know, fulfilling. But uh, there we go. We'll try and get that sorted. But I think we've got enough to see us through winter. We should be OK. Um, do you know what? Just move time on nice and quick. They are making their way back at good pace. I think quite a few of them have got the kind of the marching songs type thing. So that's quite helpful. That's making them move around significantly quicker. Um, but yeah, okay, we've just got people just standing around. Do you know what we could do? Helen, let's give you your final skills, because you might as well do this. So, okay, you've got two strength points available. I think let's give you, let's make you carry two extra pieces of equipment, because why not? Because we can. And yeah, get another point in Thunderous Uppercut, because that's fun. And then Fortitude, you've got one point in this. Okay. Where do we want to invest this point? I'm thinking here, determined to win. The character cannot be killed by the bleeding status effect. If it would reduce their health to zero, they lose the bleeding status effect and their health goes to one. So they can't bleed out effectively, which is very good. So do you know what? We will have that, thank you. Um, and then Barbara, you've also kind of maxed out your skills. So what can we do? You've got two fortitude points available. I quite like this. Hang on, what does that do again? 
Valiant. Okay, hopefully we won't need that. Hopefully we're not going to drop below 25% health. I think patch yourself up is very good. So the character heals 5% of their maximum health at the end of combat. We'll get a couple of points in that. I think that will do the job. Um, yeah, we don't need any of all these things, do we? No, that's all fine. We'll get a point in that, thank you. So another point in that, wonderful. So Barbara is now going to heal up 10% of their health at the end of combat, which is very handy indeed. And yeah, I think that's it. I think that's it in terms of those two. So that's all the skills they're ever going to have. Um, yeah, Ronald does have a little way to go with some of his stuff. Um, yeah, so strength is still increasing. I mean, let's give you these points anyway. So you've got some charisma, four charisma points. Um, okay, right, have rallying, because that gives you a huge big boost, and, you know, gives you a nice boost to everybody else, uh, and we'll have marching songs, we'll have two points in that, because that's fun, um, okay, uh, I mean, do we want this, confuse opponent, it's, it's so heavy on stamina, confuse opponent, six stamina, and it's only got a 75% chance of working, it's not great, is it, um, motivator, that seems to go quite well with Ronald. 75% increase to crafting and fixing speeds whilst that character is in the shelter. Yeah, why not? Let's get that, shall we? Let's make Ronald a bit of a motivator. And then fortitude-wise, um, let's have final countdown. If this character is about to take a hit, which would put them on zero health, they perform a counterattack before becoming unconscious. So if someone's going to take Ronald down, he's going to try and take them down with him. So there we go, we'll have that. And that's, um, that's Ronald's skills. Uh, Helen, Dern, Kathleen's probably got a few as well. So intelligence, a couple of points of these. I think we've got all the good ones. We've got like tactician and knowledge of anatomy and medical training and all that sort of stuff. Um, I don't know. What do we have here? What do we give you? Put on a brave face, immune to injury, mood modifiers, emergency tourniquet. I mean, that might be quite useful, I suppose, just in a pinch. But then we generally do carry bandages. And we can make quite a lot of them. So that might be a bit pointless. Um, but we've only got two points. So I don't really want to take calculated one, two up to two stars. I don't really know what to do with your two intelligence points. I'm not really 100% sure. Um, how about then? How about what does that do? Resourceful healing. When using a first aid kit, there's a 10% chance it won't be used up. That's not even that good. And that means you can just manufacture a grenade and throw it. You can just craft it out of, I don't know, bits of dirt and some you know, old stuff you found lying around, an old shoe or whatever. Um, okay, do you know what? Have a couple of points in calculated one, two. It's fine. And then perception, you've got four points. So why don't we, why don't we just make you a really good hunter? Because I don't quite know what else we're going to do with the points. And then you could have locate weak point. So become very good at hunting. There you go. And then locate weak point. I don't really think we need much else. So there we go. And I think that's it. We've issued out all of the skills to people that are here. Of course, some other people might have some other bits and bobs. Uh, oh, hang on a second. Where's Ronald? Ronald, can we repair this? Please, thank you so much. And also repair that as well. Um, yeah, lots of people in the comments pointing out that if you press control and uh, have a look at that, it does tell you all the conditions. I do know this. I do know this, and I do actually use this kind of off camera to go and repair things, because I don't show every single kind of sort of repairing thing that we do, because we'd be here forever, because we do a lot of repairing. Um, but yeah, I do use this, and I am aware of that. But yeah, thank you for pointing it out. But yeah, I do use this, but mostly it is sort of, it is off camera, because yeah, a lot of repairing does go on. And it's not overly exciting to watch all the kind of repair commands being issued out. However, back come the travelling party. Okay, that's very good. And I noticed that we had a we did we have a, a little sort of message there as well. Uh, okay, right. Take everything. And because we built a lovely fancy storage crate thing, yep, yeah, that's looking very good. Okay, hang on. Somebody's at the intercom. Uh, it's Eric. Eric with a lovely hat and a very wonderful kind of, you know, beard moustache combo going on. Um, I'm very sorry, Eric. We're not taking in new people right now. Uh, somebody did in the comments make a very good point about um, we should really be able to hire people but maybe we could get people on board as part of you know the team and then we could send them away to our outposts because it's a bit weird that we have all these kind of outposts set up all around the waste, but nobody's in them. They're just completely empty. And if they get attacked, we have to go over and defend them, which does raise the question of what are the attackers doing? Are they just sort of stand there going, don't know what to do. How do we attack this completely empty kind of base here? I've no idea. It would make sense if you could sort of recruit people in like Eric and then say, okay, Eric, you're not going to be part of our main squad here at the here at the sort of bunker itself. 
but we're going to send you away to a sort of an outpost somewhere, which might mean that the outpost becomes, I don't know, 10% more difficult to attack or whatever, or, you know, adds defense or you know, something. It seems a bit of a, a wasted opportunity to have all of these people coming by saying, can I please join you? But eight people seems to be working very well in the bunker and in the faction right now. So it does seem a little bit of a shame. So Eric, I'm very sorry. It's a no from us. Have this lovely, fresh, you know, piping hot cup of tea in a corporately branded Keepers of the Tea mug, of course. And um, yes, be on your merry way. But you know, best wishes to you. I hope it all works out very nicely. Um, okay, Kathleen has reached full fortitude. Okay, hang on. So you will have another fortitude point. Uh, you've got two. Okay, this is good. Um, what do we do with these now? I've got no idea what we do with these. I don't know what to do with these at all. Um, reduce the effect of broken limbs. Do we want to do that? Healing up faster. Home turf advantage. Maybe home turf advantage might be quite good. Just deal a bit more damage whilst you're actually in the bunker itself. There we go. Wonderful stuff. Right, does anybody else need to level up? Betty, you do. Let's go and do some of this. So, yes, yeah, so you've got a charisma point to spend. Um, okay, you can have... How about... Uh, I mean, inspiring seems to be quite a good thing. I think maybe you should have that. I think you should become a little bit more inspiring. There we go, because you are the leader and all. Um, Barbara, we did. Will doesn't have any. Sharon doesn't have any. Chris doesn't have any. Okay, so I think everybody is leveled up. There you go. I always forget that, so that's quite good news. And yeah, clear all that kind of stuff. Okie doke. Right, so move time on nice and quick. Oh, Kathleen has just decided to go to bed. <laughs> just as all the incredibly, incredibly tired people come in who want to lie down. Um, yeah, Kathleen has nicked to bed. Well done, Kathleen. Good job. And now Betty can't actually have a sleep. Although that does mean that she can go and have a wash and eat and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, she's very, very tired. However... I think Kathleen is going to be out of that bed very soon. So here we go. Right, Betty, you go into that bed, please. Um, and hang on, hang on, who's in that bed? Oh, that's Barbara. I, I love how they've just timed it so the travelling party come home from a long journey and then they're like, right, we're having that. Uh, right, Chris, before you collapse on the floor, please go and lie in that bed. There we go, wonderful. Right, it might take a while for them to get sorted. We do need to pick who we'd like to go out for the big sort of the final fight, if you like, possibly. It might not be the final fight, but I'm assuming it's kind of like the final battle because the quest thing is called the end. So I'm assuming it's the last sort of battle. So we are going to have to think about who we'd like to send out. But right now, I think, yeah, let's just get them in and get them settled back in and get, let them have some food and drink and all that kind of stuff. Ah, and hang on a second. Barbara, can we add the solar panel blueprint, please? Given that you're sort of just mooching around the place. Go and do that, and then we'll see if we can build ourselves a solar panel. I mean, objectively, we don't really need a solar panel, because we have got by thus far... I mean, the bunker isn't small. The bunker is not a small bunker. It's, what, one, two, three, four... So five floors of stuff, and we've got quite a lot going on. You know, it's fairly well lit on the sort of the top three floors. These two floors are not quite so well lit. We have got garages, we've got recyclers and medical beds and benches and all sorts of bits and bobs going on. Um, and we've kind of done all that without a solar panel, with just five of the wind turbine things. So, I mean, yeah, we've done okay. We've done okay without solar panels, but we'll have a look at what we need to build one. We might as well build one if we can, because it's different and fun. Right, okay, I imagine it's tier four. And it's going to look like a solar panel. There we go. And we need an awful lot of tier three glass, which I'm not entirely sure how to get. I don't really know how to get that. Um, and we make it from sand. Okay. Oh, that's a bit of a problem, isn't it? Oh, Barbara, actually, hang on. Make some more fertilizer. That's handy. Um, okay, we could. Um, how much do we need? Hang on, hang on. How much did we need? Oh, no, I've pressed the wrong button. Oh, and then it resets all that. Hang on a second. <laughs> just do three lots of that for now, thanks. And make a load of glue just to sort of fill the time. Right, Barbara, you go and do that because you're right at the thing. So you go and do that, make some fertilizer, and then go make a load of glue. That should be really quick. You're super fast at making the glue. Um, okay, so what did we need to... There we go, blueprint. What did we need for that? So circuit board, that's fine. We can do that. So four lots of tier three glass. Uh, yeah, so we can make it using our sand. I was kind of thinking we might want to use the sand to make the bunker look nice. But if we can build a solar panel, why not? And we have a 75% chance 
of making a three star uh, piece of uh, yeah the a really high quality broken glass which is a bit weird um can we get yeah look at that will just get will to do it because that's 95 percent chance um has anyone got intelligence 20 i don't think they have i'm fairly sure they haven't uh ronald you go and do it actually you know what you're doing you're really clever oh hang on did 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 barbara just go and do that i thought we'd set it to be ronald I thought we specifically just said, Ronald, please go and do that. Uh, okay. <laughs> right. Bit weird. Um, okay. Did it work? No. We are one shot. Okay, Ronald, can you please go and make a thing? Make a piece of glass. There we go. Just pop up here. And there we go. Right. And then we need some circuit boards. But I think you can make those with relative ease. There you go. Just, just do three of those, please. Just manufacture some circuit boards using a hammer and a saw because that's how it works. Right. And now, can we build ourselves a solar panel? Yes, we can. Okay. Do you know what? We might as well do that. Oh, and they're teeny tiny. I was really worried when we fit it in. But no, it's fine. Look, we'll put it near the flag thing. We'll pop it just there up onto the surface, Ronald. Let's see how this is going to go. So let's just pop over to there and there we go. We've built ourselves a solar panel. It's not going to do much right now at three in the morning. Also, why are you moping around? Oh, it's really cold. <laughs> okay, come back in. Come back in and do some more exercise, please, Ronald. Go and do some more punchy punchy. Um, okay, right. So that's that done. Have we got any floppy disks to process? Okay, we've got two trait points. Is there anything we would like Betty to be able to do? Let's go and have a look at what we can get for two. So adaptable, 50% less likely to contract mental ailments. We've not seen much of that, so no point doing that. Attractive, gain relationship points faster with other characters. That's pointless. Clean freak, characters in the shelter have a 25% reduced chance of contracting food poisoning and infections. Um, okay, that's sort of fine. Uh, meat lover, uh, they gain double the sustenance from eating meat and gain a positive mood modifier every time they do so. Okay, that's not bad. Or veggie power, so the opposite, but just with vegetables. Um, okay, then I'm not really sold on those. I'm not overly sold on those ones. I'd rather keep it and have like, um, I don't know, like super cardio or something like that. Something slightly better. Although we might never be able to use these. I don't know. Right, we won't do anything with them right now. Okay, so who would we like to send out and about on a bit of a wander in the waste. Now, I think we have to send Betty because Betty is the boss. In fact, Betty, what are you doing? Um, you're currently just sort of having an argument, are you? You're having a disagreement with Will. And what we could do is we could get Betty down here doing some more work because Betty's stats are a little bit rubbish compared to everybody else, particularly Betty's perception. So, Betty, could you go um, over here and work on your perception, possibly? I wouldn't mind you working on your strength. But yeah, you go and work on your perception. That'd be quite nice. And then can we just get a little team together just to go out for a wander? But all we're going to do, we're just going to go up here, sort that out, and then come all the way back. I think that might be a good plan. So yeah, let's get a team together for one quick trip out to the waste just to do a tiny spot of fighting. There we go. That looks fine. So we're going to send out our kind of second expedition squad, if you like. So Kathleen, Barbara, Helen and Ronald. So, you know, not the B team, because that's being a little bit kind of demeaning to them. But, you know, just that kind of our second team, if you like. So there we go. They're all ready. Um, we are running a little bit low on the rifle ammo. We might possibly want to go and craft a little bit more of that whilst they're out and about. I'm sure we've got... Yeah, we've got Will back at base. He's very good at crafting. So he can go and do that, I think, because we're a little bit low on sort of fancy three star rifle ammo we're taking all we've got we've only got kind of four rounds of it so we could do with a bit more of that but there we go we're not even taking bags we're not even going to stop off we're just going to go there have a fight and come straight back that's exactly the plan we're not going to deviate from that or anything unless something kind of pops up right in front of us that makes us kind of think oh hang on we should go and investigate that kind of thing um so yeah that's what we're going to do so let us go to next and yeah we just head straight up here and have a bit of a fight and hope that we can get there in time because we have left it a little bit late and of course we have got to travel over there as well so we've got what 8.2 hours so hopefully in 8.2 hours it's not going to get to the end of the week and that you know that battle is not going to be lost so um yeah there you go you've got loads of rations it's all fine off your pop have a nice trip out you lot and of course we've done your skills which is very good and that means that you lot are just sort of back here doing what you need to do so let's see 
what we can do in terms of people's skills. Right, so we want you to do charisma, please. That'd be marvellous. Betty is on her way to learn about perception because she has a perception of three, which is quite fabulously terrible. Um, Will, you could also do with learning about perception. And Sharon, it's just fortitude. Okay, right, Sharon, you go and lift the big heavy weight things. So everyone should be down here doing all sorts of exciting kind of work, which is very good. Okay, yep, yeah, very happy with that. And now as well, we can have a look in the day just to see our solar panel and it looks okay. Yeah, it looks solar. Okay, well, the sun's not pointing the right way now, but it looks sort of solar panel-y, which is all very good. Oh, look at this. Charisma's going up. Perception's going up. Okay, so skills are being increased down here. This is very good. I like to see this. Everyone looks very studious. Everyone's working very hard indeed. Sharon's really having to put a lot of effort. Oh, hang on a second. Hang on. Will has reached maximum perception level. Okay, so now it's just fortitude. Um, okay, go and do some exercising on the punch bag because I think that does get your fortitude up. Okay, that's very good. Good job, Will. Betty, no, you don't just stop. <laughs> you don't just give up. Um, okay, how about you work on your... I mean, perception again, Betty, would be amazing. Perception would be fantastic. Oh, hang on. Yep, yeah. hello, sorry. Oh, they're so nearly there. They've encountered other survivors. Hopefully we don't have to kind of choppy chop them to death or whatever. Please be nice. Oh, Robert. What do you want? I'm armed, you know. So are we. Uh, right, we're going to try and run away to save your life. And this isn't going to end well, Robert. Uh, I will give you the chance now. Please run away. Please just go and run. Uh, and they're all scared as well. <laughs> Understandably so. Um... Okay, right. Do you know what? Oh, I've not... Oh, hang on a minute. No. Um, Sh I'm not showing. Helen's in the back row. So, yeah, she can she can backstab that person. So, um, okay. No, this is fine. Uh, we'll take out Robert, I think. We'll just use a regular melee attack because you're really good. And boom. And dead. Okay. <laughs> well, that's that sorted. You can backstab them because that's wonderful. That means that's almost 350 points of damage. And, I mean, can you sort them out as well? With the big choppy thing? Wow. Okay. That was quite brutal. Um, I mean, we'll take the stuff. We'll take the stuff. It's only one star rubber, though. But, I mean, yeah, there's some stuff we could put in the incinerator or whatever. Yep. Okie doke. Fine. Thanks. Bye. Right. Cheerio. We'll leave them around. Um, actually, whilst we are here, the incinerator... We've got some stuff to put in there. Now, so let's put some coal in. Very nice. Um, we've got some wood so a little bit of wood can go in and we can put some fertilizer in put two lots of the fertilizer in what happens if we put in magnesium how long does that burn for uh not very long but we have got an awful lot of it and i don't think we're going to use it all so do you know what we'll put some magnesium in as well i'm sure that's not going to be explodey at all um how about putting nitroglycerin in that also seems slightly dangerous but do you know what yeah we'll chuck some of that in as well there we go <laughs> wonderful stuff right so uh, incinerate that. Do you want to incinerate any of the old stab vest, bulletproof vest things? Because we don't need these anymore. And there's no point deconstructing... Or is there a point deconstructing them? Will that give us rubber or whatever? Hang on a minute. You incinerate all that, please. Let's go down to here. Uh, oh, no, not repair. Uh, recycle. See, if we take apart uh, bulletproof vest, we don't want those. Where are the good... These are the ones we like. We like the improved stab-proof vest. They're good. Uh, we'll come back with a knife. Okay, and knuckle duster. Get rid of that. Right, these club things. Get rid of those because they're a bit rubbish. And um, what else can we do? Right, get rid of that tyre. Disappointing load of tier two rubber. Boo, tyre. We'll take that. We'll take the pans. We'll take the club. Um, okay, I mean, can we recycle the guns? No point having them around. Just recycle them to their sort of, you know, component parts anything else okay right that's all fine um, and then yeah why don't we just recycle the the rubbish vest over here so just the regular bulletproof vest what do we get out of that ah oh, not a lot i'm afraid that's a little bit disappointing isn't it okay never mind we'll get rid of them anyway because that might free up some storage space or whatever and you know what let's recycle a couple of pairs of binoculars as well because we don't even use them that much we've got plenty of other pairs so um yeah, okay, that will do. I think that looks okay. We've not got anything that's going to give us the fancy rubber. So we can't get a tyre made for our car, which is a bit of a shame. Okay, so recycle that. 
And um, yeah, everyone just carry on working really hard on all the stuff. I think we have arrived over here. Right, let's have a fight with our allies, which does seem a little bit silly, to be honest. But here we go. Woo! Right, they're doing that woo thing again. Right, defend the outpost. And... Uh, yeah, there we go. I thought that would have gone wrong then, but no, it's all fine. It's all fine. Right, we're all first. I suspect maybe this is going to be very, very short-lived. And do an attack. And boom, down goes the lieutenant. Um, and, yep, yeah, okay, that's fine. Right, you can do a backstabby thing on you. Oh, no, it's gone to Ronald. I didn't realise that was Ronald. <laughs> oh, because was Helen scared? Uh, skipped over Helen. I should have possibly looked at that. Okay, do you know what? We'll just use a gunshot and boom and dead. Well done. And um, end your turn. Right, Barbara, it's the one in front of you. Just just melee. Just boom. There we go. Nice and sorted. They've got an awful lot of stuff. Have they got tier three rubber? No, they haven't. They haven't even got a tire. Botherations. Okay, right. Take everything. Confirm that. And now, um, yeah, just, just come home. Just come home. That's all we wanted you to do. Yep, yeah, you've stopped at your roots. And just, just come back. Just come back home, please. Nice and simple. Don't encounter any survivors, because that would be a bit annoying. Um, and there we go. Just take a massive pile of rations with you. You enjoy the trip home. Oh, okay. Sharon has maxed out her full fortitude potential. Okay, that's... Hang on. There's a message telling us twice. Reach their full fortitude. Reach their full fortitude. Okay, so Sharon, I think... Have you maxed everything out? Yeah, Sharon is now another superhuman person. She's maxed everything out, which is all very good indeed. So, Sharon, what is your intelligence? Uh, 60, I mean, it's everything's pretty good. Everything is looking very good. I mean, as well, look at that. Chris's charisma is flying at plus eight. Each sort of, each little sort of tick, it goes up. Whereas Betty's only getting plus two perception. Betty, you need to be better at doing the reading and doing the learning and such like. Um, is there a skill that we can give you? To increase that. Um, is it that? Uh, increase the speed at which this character reads books by 10%. Yeah, okay. We'll have a couple of points in that, please. Because then she can level up significantly quicker. Oh, yeah, look. Now she's... Oh, hang on. That still seems to be the same thing. Uh, William has increased his fortitude, but now he's tired. Uh, Betty's just given up hope. Betty, get back reading some books. Get your intelligence up then. If you're not going to have good perception, go and get your intelligence up. Or just go and have a lie down, one or the other. Okay, hang on a minute. They've encountered some people. Please say we can run away. Oh, you're nice. It's it's another Betty. It's parallel universe Betty. Can we trade? Um. Oh, she said no. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. Bye-bye. Lovely chatting. Oh, crikey. They've encountered somebody else. Mere moments down the road. Okay, fine. Hopefully these are nice as well. Encountering grass. It's Mary. Hello, Mary. Would you like to do some trading? Um, you've got... Do you know what? We'll take some coal. We will take some coal because we can put that in the incinerator. Would you like a piece of nylon for that? Um, 72% chance. Okay, we'll wing it and it's fine. Okay, wonderful. This should come in handy. <laughs> piece of nylon. Okay, fine. Right, hopefully they can now come home without too much bother. Okay, Chris has reached his full charisma potential, which is very good. So Chris now just needs to work on perception. And that is kind of it. But yeah, he's also going to need to go and have a lie down. This is all very unfortunately timed because our travelling party are going to come home. Although they might not be that tired. They've not been out that long. So hopefully they're not going to be too exhausted. A bit cold maybe, but hopefully not too exhausted. Why is... <laughs> Who's that? Is that Ronald at the back? Why is Ronald so far behind? Did you all have a falling out or something? Um, yeah, okay. Take all the stuff. It's all fine. People, yeah, people lost some health, I think because of the cold, I imagine. So, yep, yeah, okay, that's fine. And into the incinerator, we can just chuck uh, all that extra coal they found. That's another 14 hours for the incinerator. And yeah, it's got 53 hours to go, which is very good. Ah, yes, I know what we didn't do. So, Will, let's go down to here. Let's have a look. So, can we do some crafting? Now, of course, we can now craft weapons. I think it said, yeah, you can craft all the weapons because we're allied with, uh, was it was it the Black Roses? Yeah, it was the Black Roses. I think it was. So now we can craft all of these weapons. So we can make the shotgun and the rifle and everything else. But I don't really think we need any of these. It's not overly exciting, really. I mean, there is a sentry turret that we got given the, um, the blueprint for. I mean, it might be fun to make one of those. I don't think we need one of those, but it might be quite fun to make one. And there is some ammo for it. But more importantly, can we make some rifle ammo? Can we just, I don't know, make another five lots of that, possibly, just for the sake of it? 
And then maybe, maybe we'll make another couple of antimatter cell things. In fact, you know what? Do that. There we go. Wonderful. That will do. So, Will, that'll keep you busy for a while. So you go and do that, please. Okay, hang on. What was that? Betty has reached her full intelligence potential. Oh, well done, Betty. That's very good. And to celebrate that, you've gone for a little lie down, which is marvellous. And yeah, you do need the loo, so I have queued that up. But there you go. So you can have a sleep, then a trip to the loo. I noticed there is a trader up on the surface. It's Paul the trader. Hello, Paul the trader. I don't think... We have any kind of need of any of this stuff, Paul. I do apologise. I'm sure it's very high quality, lovely stuff, but yeah, we just don't need any of it. It's it's very nice, but yeah, no thank you. Not right now, Paul, but thank you for popping by. You know, keep coming by. It's very lovely to see you. Would you like to come in and have some tea? Okay, so there we go. So no trading is required. So what we now need to do, I think, is we need to figure out who we'd like to go and investigate this kind of mysterious signal thing. Because, I mean, it might well be the final battle. I have no idea. So I think we need to pick who we'd like to, you know, take with us. I think we have to take Betty because she is the leader. Although, in terms of stats, she's probably the worst person we've got. But she's the leader. She's Betty. She, you know, she means business. So we'll take Betty along. And I think as well, we have to take Barbara. Because Barbara and Betty started this journey together. And if this is the kind of, you know, if it's the end, if it's the final battle, it is called the end, then um, I think they need to go into it together. I think yeah, they started it together. Let's see if they can finish it together. But then who else do we take? I really have no idea because everybody is really, really good. I mean, Kathleen is brilliant. She's really good. And then we've got, then we've got Will. Will is really good. And Sharon's wonderful. And Chris is amazing. I mean, I think let's take Chris because Chris has a strength of 20, and he's got the great big sort of super mega hammer thing. So I think we'll have Betty, Barbara, Chris, and then so we've got two hitty people, which will be Chris and Barbara, and then we've got Betty, who can do the shooting with the pew 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 gun. So I mean, yeah, do we just take somebody else who's really strong, or do we take Ronald, who's good at using sort of ranged weapons, because we did just make some ammo? I'm not entirely sure. I don't know, do we take Kathleen? Because she can use a great big hitty thing. Maybe we take Kathleen. She is very good. And she has maxed out all of her stats, which is wonderful. I think that's what we do. So let's get those four people ready. So, um, right, Kathleen, go for a nice drink. And then possibly nip to the loo as well. Um, Betty, you need to have a shower. But other than that, you're looking okay. Maybe you could have a spot of food. Have we got enough rations, actually? Oh, we've got loads of rations. Um, yeah, have a little bite to eat. Have some of the slightly mouldy tomato soup. It's okay. Just scrape the green bits off and you'll be fine. So do that. And then go and have some tea before you go, because that's important. Um, Barbara, you're also coming with us, so you go and have some tea. And then you can nip down here to the loo. And then you need some food as well, but not a lot. So yeah, you can have... Yeah, you have this... Have the spinach soup. The most unappealing of all the soups. Uh, Will is staying behind. Even though you're brilliant, Will, you're going to stay behind. Uh, Sharon is staying behind. And Chris is coming with us. So, Chris, you need to go and have a shower because you're a bit whiffy. Um, and then, yep, then you can grab some tea before you leave. And then, I think, have a bite to eat. And, yeah, have... Oh, hang on. Hang on. Some of this... Um, some of that vegetable stew is going off. So, you go and have that. Okay, there we go. And if everyone could... Have a quick... Oh, they go to sleep anyway, don't they? So there we go. So sort that out. And then in the meantime, where is Will? Will, where are you? Um, do we need to do any repairing of anything? Uh, we might need to repair the camping gear. Okay, get that sorted. Um, the bags are all a bit broken as well. We could repair a couple of bags. We could just start and build them from scratch. I don't know. We'll repair a couple because it seems like the right thing to do. Um, and yeah, all the stab proof vests are fine. I don't think they need to be sort of repaired they're not too sort of bad in terms of quality and just for the sake of it we will repair those binoculars we don't need to do that at all but we just will because we can okay so you do a bit of that wonderful stuff um and then yeah whilst you're down there go and do some cleaning will why not you're next to the mop and bucket go and do some cleaning i am surprised in this game this game where we can manufacture solar panels and lightning rods and we can make kind of you know huge great big kind of recyclers and medical beds we haven't invented anything that's you know, better at cleaning other than a mop and bucket i mean could we not you know, invent a, a vacuum cleaner or a room or something that goes around and tidies things up just automatically that'd be amazing <laughs> why haven't we got that i do not know but there we go i don't know but maybe they could add that possibly and right i think once, um, hang on, let's click on Chris. There's a great big gaggle going on just here. There's a big, big old sort of crowd. I think 
everybody that we'd like to go out is ready. However, skills. Here we go. So some charisma skills. Um, let's have... Again, this is for Chris, isn't it? And it's not... I'm not too bothered. Just have march. I have three points of marching songs. So we can go nice and quick. And then you can be inspiring. That'll do the job. Right, anybody else? Ronald, no. Helen, no. Kathleen, no. Betty, of course, does have a few. She's got some intelligence. Um, have... Um, what did we want to have? Have we got tactician? Yes, got tactician. So that's good. Focused. Accuracy of all melee attacks. You might as well have that in case you need to sort of jab somebody with your gun or whatever. So yeah, have a couple of points in that, please. Anybody else? Barbara, no. Will does have a point or two. A couple of points in perception. I don't think we need demoralize. Um... How about you get unshakable up to the top? So you're 70% less likely to become scared. And fortitude. Um, let's give you final countdown. Let's make you go out fighting sort of thing if it's going to happen. So there we go. And Sharon, you've got some skills. Fortitude, a couple of points. You've got all the things we like. <laughs> what can we give? Where should we award these? Uh, okay, right. hang on. Let me just look through what we've got and see if anything's really useful. I suppose pain resistance training might be quite handy. Reducing the effects of broken limbs by 25% up to 50%. I mean, that's not brilliant, but it will do, I'm sure. And there we go. That is it. So who's coming out with us? So Kathleen, yep, you're very good. Betty, yep, your stats are fine. Barbara, your stats are wonderful. And going over to Chris. Chris could do with a little bit of a rest, but not a long rest. So here you go. You're going to have a very quick lie down. I think that will tick down fairly quickly. What's that? About an hour? Just a little tiny nap. So, um, yeah, there we go. All sorted. Chris then wakes up. And now we can send them out and about. So here we go. Let's get the squad ready for a final kind of meander into the unknown. Maybe. Because we don't know if it's the last thing. I mean, it's called the end. But then it's got a question mark. So I don't know. Right. So let's set up the expedition. Let's get everybody ready to go for a wander and investigate the mysterious signal. Okay, I think we're ready. So we've got Betty with the big pew 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 gun type thing. Barbara's got the big kind of long reaching hatchet type thing. Chris has got the great big super mega hammer. And Kathleen has a good old trusty big kind of metal bar type thing. And then, of course, yeah, we've got some ammo for Betty. And then quite a few med kits and quite a lot of bandages as well. Just in case. Just in case we do need these. We're not quite sure what to expect. And I think that's kind of it. I mean, three people do have bags just in case we need to you know, go and collect some loot, but I'm not sort of planning on it. So here we go. Let us go and investigate what that mysterious thing might be. Oh, caution. Starting this quest will trigger the end game. The end game is designed to increase in difficulty until you are destroyed. What? You'll not be able to come back to this point. I recommend you create a backup of your save. Are you sure you wish to continue? Hang on, it will increase in difficulty until you are destroyed. <laughs> that seems a bit unfair. What do you mean? Is it going to wipe us out? Oh, uh, okay, I'll, I'll go and make a save then. Although we're probably not going to come back to the save because that would be a bit weird in terms of YouTube videoing. But um, okay, uh, right, okay. Well, I'll go and make a backup of the save because the game tells us to do that. I don't know if we're ever going to use it, but okay, right. Hang on a second. Oh, now I've got to go back and set up them all up again. We're not going to come back to it. No, it's fine. It's fine. We yes, we're carrying on. We're going over there, please. Yes, I wish to continue. Um, not automatic rationing. We're going to take every single bit of food we've got. Hang on, let's do lots of clicking. There we go. The trip needs nine rations. We're going to take 89, just in case people get a bit peckish on the way round. Maybe they're going to get a little bit hungry or whatever. So there we go. That's absolutely fine. Off you lot pop into the unknown. Who knows what is going to happen there? I have absolutely no idea. So let's clear all these things down. And um, yeah, let's just get them off into the middle of nowhere. And who is here? David, you know the deal. You've got a nice hat on, but no, nope, I'm afraid it's a no from us. Take the tea in a corporate mug. It's all very lovely. But yeah, you, you'll find you'll find happiness somewhere else. It's fine. Right, and now we've got people back here. So Will, stop doing the cleaning. We could do with you going out and just repairing a few bits and bobs. So you go repair stuff over here, please. So repair those things. And then if you could then also go and repair that up on the surface, that'd be good. Um, who else do we have now that's pretty smart? Sharon's quite smart. So Sharon, can you go and repair all of the wind turbines? That would be marvellous. And then also pop out and return, uh, return, repair the floodlight and 
the lightning rod as well because that is looking a little bit sort of rickety and there we go right so yeah we're taking care of all of our kind of outside thingamajigs to make sure they don't fall apart oh no there's black rain upon the surface there's black rain right hang on everybody get inside will get inside don't bother about the water collector come inside because there is black rain pouring down uh, sharon forget those jobs get inside i don't want you to become ill Come in. Oh no, somebody's... Uh, Sharon's got radiation poisoning. Botherations. Okay. Right, hang on. Open the medicine cabinet. We've got some anti-radiation things somewhere. There we go. Proper anti-radiation tablets. So Sharon, get inside, please. I mean, stop moping around and get in really quick. There we go. Right, come in here and take the anti-radiation tablets. Hopefully that will make you feel a bit better. Where are you? Oh yeah, you're going just there because I told you to go there. Okay, right. They've encountered survivors. We're doing the kind of final mission thing game. Stop this. Um, oh, hello, Deborah. How are you? Can we do some trading? Um, oh, wow. What, a, <laughs> what an exciting assortment of things. I'm afraid it's a no from us. Uh, yeah, it's fine. Nothing interest? No, absolutely not. Okay, cheerio. Um, yeah, Sharon also did just do a little bit of a little bit of a vomit on the floor. I might have to go and tidy that up. Right, but there we go. Hopefully she is now better. There you go. She's not got radiation poisoning. And Sharon, because of that, you can go and clean the shelter a little bit, please. That would be marvellous. Okay, so time is ticking on nice and fast. Hopefully the travelling party are not going to get interrupted again before we enter... I don't know. Who knows what's going to happen here? I'm not entirely sure. So let's go and find out. We've encountered members of a faction. Okay, have we? Encounter in desert. Okay. So there's a bunker hatch and a dead person. Uh, oh, maybe the dead person isn't quite dead. They're just having a lie down and we're staring at them. I, I can't believe uh, someone got my message. What a relief. I think it's too late for uh, me, but I need to warn someone outside. One of them got activated by mistake. I tried to stop it. But once the process started, it was too late. John, what are you talking about, John? What is saying? What escape? Good question. Uh, it's an android. I'm not sure uh, what it's fully capable of, but it killed everyone here and made its way out to the surface. Oh, it's a robot. We met one of them before. Um, what escaped? Hang on, that's what you just said, isn't it? Facility. It's an old government ah, research facility. The new ward had discovered its existence uh, and secured it for future study. They sent us to assess its contents. Oh, the new ward have brought about the end of the world. What can we do? Oh, I don't think anything can be done. They just wouldn't stop. I'm sorry. Uh, the life drained from the new warder member's eyes. Oh. I wonder what happens if you take them out. What happens if you destroy the new warder? Is this somehow different? I don't know. Um. Oh, okay. Damage amplifier blueprint. A blueprint which details how to create damage amplifier. Okay. <laughs> Confirm that. Right. Now what do we do? Uh. Oh. Hang on. This is change in the corner. Day since uprising. Day 154. What? I oh, know, day since uprising zero, but now day 154 has got this exciting sort of dramatic looking background to it. Is something happening that we need to be aware of? Should we possibly be building some sort of defensive turrets? I kind of feel like we might want to. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was all, that was very... That was very undramatic. I've kind of geared that up as the big final showdown. It's kind of, oh, it's going to be exciting. We've got our best team together. Who are we going to get? Oh, there was just a bloke by a bunker. Oh, okay, fine. I mean, what do we, what do we do? Quests? Is it a quest? Things we need. That's a trader. That's a trader. And that's VHS man. That's Frank with his uh, sci-fi things. Um, okay. <laughs> I don't know what to do. What do we do? I'm a little bit confused. I kind of feel like the game needs to elaborate on this. Do we just go home again? That's a quest thing. Uh, okay. <laughs> right, well, there you go. Did you enjoy that walk in the desert? Uh, well, there you go. You can come all the way back, you big, brave, noble heroes. Um, okay, right. That is somewhat underwhelming. But right, let's just uh, let's get them home again. And possibly will. Can we look then? building some sort of defensive turret because it does seem to imply that we need one of these um, okay so a military sentry turret so a gun mounted to a rotating frame which fires automatically at anyone who comes within range of its sensors a surface trap used to defend against breaches should be deactivated when friendly visitors arrived oh no 
How do we de- <laughs> We don't know when people are going to come by. What if we accidentally murder all the people that are popping by to visit? Although nobody should be visiting by now. Um, okay, so mark that as interesting. So we need two sensors and two pieces of metal. Okay, so make two sensors, please. And then make two bits. Make, I don't know, make five bits of metal, because why not? Okay, so you go and do that, please. And then we need to build a kind of turret thing up on the surface, and it's going to shoot at people, possibly. Although it might possibly shoot at us, which is a little bit worrying. Okay, so now we've got that done. So go to there. Okay, so we can make one of these. Oh, okay. I mean, if we just put it kind of there, then it's going to shoot at people uh, who are coming toward us. And that's quite good, I suppose. It might damage our other stuff, however. Can we put it sort of there? And then it's going to just not hit any of our solar panels or whatever. Um, yeah, okay. Go and put that up on the surface. It's not doing the raining thing. No, okay, it's fine. Right, so we're going to build a turret thing just there. Which is nice, I suppose. Oh, hello, right. Encountered other survivors. Hello, other survivors. Something weird's going on. I'm not entirely sure about. Ryan, 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 Ryan. Is it going to be easy to escape from Ryan? It's going to be super easy. Barely an inconvenience, hopefully. Uh, no. <laughs> oh, really? No, not at all. Um, right, here we go. Let's just finish this. I'm sorry, Ryan. I'm sorry I had to smash you in the face of the hammer. You made me do it. Um, Betty, don't even waste the ammo. Just just melee. Just melee bop them. They go, they're hurt. And they're hurt again. Just just end your turn. It's fine. You can just finish them off. Boop with the thing. And there we go. Marvellous. Right, we'll take all your stuff. Thank you so much. Betty got strength for that. I don't I didn't see, but Betty got a thing, which is good. Oh, Betty's maximized her strength. Okay, that's good. That's good. That worked. Ah, right. So now we've got a big shooty gun thing. However, we might want to disarm this. Will, where are you going? Oh, no, it's automatically disarm. Oh, we just right-click and disarm. Okay, so when our people come back, it's not going to shoot them. Okay, that's good. And, Will, get down here, please, and make some ammo for it. So we can make three lots right now. Okay, yeah, that's fine. You go and do that, please. Get that sorted. That'd be marvellous. Crikeys. Yeah, other survivors again. Come on. Encountering desert, it's some people, it's Nancy. Can we please run away? Please let us run away. Hey, we ran away from Nancy. Right, so yeah, we'll get down here and see if we can make some ammo for that thing. So one, two, three. Okay, and I noticed when we did that, there was an option to, yeah, add sentry ammo. So, okay, so do we just add it all or do we add one lot? I'm not entirely sure. Okay, so adding ammo. So we do that and then do we add add more ammo? Okay, so it's got, we just keep loading up. Now it's got 40 in. Okay, add another 20 rounds. Okay, so now that's got 60 rounds of ammo in it. That's that's good, but then we need to switch it back on when we know that an attack might be incoming, possibly. Um, okay, okay, right, that's all fine. So you can back down back here, please. Can we make another bed? Can we make a nice bed yet? Can we do that? Uh, no, although we have got the wool. It's the metal and the nuts and bolts. Four metal, eight nuts and bolts. We should be able to do that, surely. One, two, three, four. Go and do that, please. Go and make some metal. Will, come on. We can get a fancy bed in. It's going to be very exciting. So one, two, three, and four. And then nuts and bolts. Where are they? Um, That's a piston. Just there. They're from metal shavings. Oh, you can make loads of those. It's fine. Confirm that. Right. Let's make a few of those. Can we get that? Oh, crikey. Is the expedition fighting your attention again? <laughs> Good grief, you lot. Be more sneaky. It's Stephanie. Hello, Stephanie. Would you like to trade? Yes. Can we please have... Oh, we'll take some limestone. Why not? That's that's nice. Would you like uh, this knuckle duster? Oh, and would you like uh, some rice seeds? Oh, crikey, you want many things. Would you like some spinach seeds? We're okay for those. There you go. Right. Wonderful. Thank you. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, good. Charisma goes up for Betty. You're very nice. Okay, so you're working on that. Okay, so now do we have enough to build a bed? Just as the kind of the final thing that we could do. Yes, we do. Okay, unmark all those things. Right, destroy this bed because it's rubbish. Get rid of that. Can we do this before the traveling party come home? I do not know. So take that apart. No items collected. Oh, good. <laughs> that was worth it. And build the fancy bed. Just there, please. 
You can build that because you're good at building stuff. And there we go. I think we've just done it before they come home. And they're going to come around the corner and go, ah, <laughs> what is this massive gun thing shoot pointing at us? What is going on? But it's all fine. And end of week report. Yep, we're kind of allied or people have been wiped out. And hooray. Oh, Android is, oh, Android is attacking an outpost belonging to the Keepers of the T. And Black Roses and Los Muertos and Black Roses. Okay. We're being attacked by robots. I see. Okay, so is that the big kind of end game thing? The robots are now kind of rising? Oh, look at that. Faction wars, but it's between us and some robots. Okay, are they in here now? Can we talk to the robots? I don't think we can. So is this just a... Basically, is this now just a countdown until we actually do die? I don't know. Do you know what we'll do? We will finish things up for now, and we will come back next time and just see what happens when we go to fight the robots. So we'll get the same squad ready to go out and fight some robots to defend our place, and we'll just see what happens, because I've got no idea what's going on. I don't really know if there's kind of like a proper end game. I mean, do we wipe out the robots? Do we destroy the robots? Do, we, do the robots have a base and we go and blow it up and they all collapse and then there's peace in the wasteland? I've got no idea. I don't know. I don't know how this is going to finish. So we'll come back next time, which might well be the final time. I do not know. I mean, if there is an end game, we'll try and get that sorted. But if there's not, if it's just a case of you play forever and ever and ever until the attacks become so overpowering that you're just destroyed, I don't really like the idea of that. I don't like the idea of us being sort of wiped out just because the game has gone, right, okay, now you've just got to fight an increasingly sort of strong army all the time. I think that might be a bit weird. So um, we'll see what we can do. We'll see what happens next time out and how this sort of whole end game uprising thingamajig is going to work. But yeah, if we go and take on some robots and then just sort of let time pass by for a bit, we will see what's going on. But uh, but yeah, we'll finish up for now. Come back next time and just see what we can do. Hopefully you are still enjoying this. If you are, please do leave a like. That would be most marvellous indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on here next time out in Shelter 2. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard and I will see you next time. I just want to point out the danger of blasting fire into the face of somebody who has not got any kind of headgear on. Let's suppress the pants off that thing. I always knew hiding around a park bench would be no good. Oh no, it's a terrifying disc thing. The aliens shoot him with such force <laughs> that he loses his hair, which is just ridiculous.